Living with hydronitis superativa has been something I've had to do my whole life. Remember, you know, everything was going good, right? But then my face started drying out and my whole life, this is how I'm able to tell when I am about to have an outbreak with hydronitis superativa. And prior to this moment, I had been in remission for a couple of years. So this really set your girl back like seriously now this is there are three different levels to hydronitis superativa and i have you know like the middle version they have mild moderate and severe mine would be right in the middle the moderate version which i'm very 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 blessed soon on the screen you will see a couple of pictures pop up but if you want to know a little bit more about hydronitis superativa in detail i've talked about it before so make sure you check the links in the description box below at this point that is coming out i'm like all right let me get my last little bit and not necessarily eat and write out and this is what i ended up eating even though it was just eggs a little bit of toast some tomatoes and some onions at this point it's time for me to make sure my outbreaks don't happen now that's how mine used to look the one in between the legs even though those are not my pictures the pictures that you are seeing are not me that is how it looks when it gets really really bad right but that's just the moderate version right the severe version of HS is a lot worse so at this point the outbreaks coming and I know it's coming so I'm trying to really pamper myself and you know clean my room get everything situated so that way when I'm down bad I know that the rest of my house is taken care of because hydronitis superativa gets you in places where sweat glands are right so me moving around my arms my legs walking could be a lot so I was getting stuff done you guys all of these videos and stuff uh, make sure you check the link in the description box below so you can show your girl some love okay you'll also notice in certain videos that you'll see band-aids under my arms well listen if you have hs you know this call us gucci bandana call me bandana sin okay because your girl be wearing some band-aids but at this point i just took the wig off because I even though I have been recording I can't talk even though I have been recording videos and stuff all day this shit does not feel good at all so this is thank god even though it's probably gonna look gross to some of y'all so don't eat or don't watch this part or just maybe this isn't the video for you um this is right as it's coming on right towards the end of the day by the time i got done working things started to come to a head so that one right there is one that came on top of the skin but i'm very very grateful that it ended up not um causing an open wound because with hydronitis superativa i don't know what it is and doctors don't know either but for whatever reason with hs whenever you get a lesion it's almost like you have to go get it closed up surgically sometimes there are a lot of people with severe hydronitis superativa that their scars won't even heal up so as crazy and gross as this may look to some people it looks amazing compared to what it used to look like before and what what it could look like with a severe form of hydronitis superativa but just a little background hydronitis superativa is an inflammation of the sweat gland so anywhere that you have sweat glands on the body under your arms in the growing area between your butt under your boobs you know i said armpits i think already anywhere sweat glands live including the scalp um you get outbreaks right so what it is it's an overproduction of estrogen within the body like the body is producing too much estrogen and the body thinks that anytime you put anything within the body like any artificial hormone i.e meat and stuff my baby she was always like worried about me whenever I'm having an outbreak she was just coming in checking on me but whenever you're having any type of outbreak pay attention to the way that you're eating right and what you're eating but we're gonna talk a little bit HS is like Stan are you really posting this shit on Instagram I mean on social media but it's like yes because first of all Normally, I have my husband help me put all these goddamn band-aids on. But, uh, actually, I'm only putting a band-aid right here for now. I'm about to in the shower, but not right now. 
So I just have to put, uh, hopefully, hopefully this will go back under my skin and hopefully all of these will go back under my skin because normally they never come to a head like this one. So hopefully all of these will stay under my skin, but you got this sheet, you know, you be having to put band-aids on so that way your skin don't like rub. Cause when, my band, when the band is not on, my skin rips. So imagine, and keep in mind, as irritating as this is, this ain't nothing. Like, with my, after I had my daughter, or when I was pregnant with my daughter, that's when it was worse. And I used to have like, ones the size of my whole armpit that would not heal for like a year. Like, well not, yeah, sometimes. Like never way bigger than that, so it's cool. I like chicken and shit, but it's not worth it. Yeah, so if you like, oh, what's going on with seeing hair? Oh, it's just this. Like y'all should be so careful at who y'all talking to and like what negativity you throwing out at people because you never know what people are going through. Like. I got into the science of hair to learn how to fight this in my body. Like I was already a Cosmo, but I got deeper into the science of hair because I had to understand products are not gonna help me through this. It's something that I have to work on internally. So, before you talk shit about people, you never know what they're going through. And this is what I've been going through the whole time. So, but I'm a real nigga, it's okay. On a scale from one to 10, this outbreak may be like around a five. So now I'm just gonna start the whole detoxing process. What I do is I just eat all green, like a whole bunch of stuff that's just gonna flush my body out. So in this case, I am making some collard greens, okay? I'm making some collard greens. So I'm just throwing some garlic in there with some olive oil. And then I have onions and um, tomatoes now. We'll talk about this in a video coming really soon, but if you are very, very acidic, meaning gassy, really gassy, one thing you wanna stay away from is cooked onions. Because even though onions are good for you, if you are really, really gassy, cooked onions are very highly acidic. If you want, you know, onions to alkalize the body and reduce gas and different inflammation and stuff like that, then you could eat raw red onions. Raw red onions are more alkaline than acid. But all the, the onions that you eat become acid based whenever you cook them. So be careful with that. And that's what I'm doing at this point. Um, I'm not adding any extra meat or anything like that in this case because your girl's going back vegan. Because when I am vegan, I do not have outbreaks. I simply do not. It doesn't matter if I'm eating like fried vegan food or whatever when i'm eating vegan i do not have breakouts from hygienitis superativa i simply do not and keep in mind hs is something that i've been dealing with my entire life so for all of our coconut oil lovers coconut oil is amazing and it has so many health benefits but you can eat it ingested because over 60 percent well over 60 percent about 95 percent of everything that you ingest into the body goes to the bloodstream which is what you need where you need things to go for it to help your hair grow or your skin to get better and all of that but only about 60 percent of what you put on the scalp gets to the bloodstream so if you love your coconut oil boo it's not getting to the bloodstream because it's blocking the follicle but if you eat it oh my goodness and this is a really good way to get that fat right that fat that you don't get making greens like this because normally you will put like the turkey necks and stuff in here and all of that stuff right <laughs> but we didn't do that i just use a little bit of a coconut oil all right so at this point it's a couple of days later things are starting to look a little bit better all right but it's not 100 percent. so i am going to head going to head <laughs> i'm gonna double up and use a little bit of this you guys know what this is liquid chlorophyll and all 
all this is is basically the thing that makes plants green right so i just needed to uptake it a little little bit within my body so i was like all right let me go ahead and speed this up so i went ahead and added this with some lemons and this was the thing that i was drinking every day for approximately like a month just into everything calm down and additionally i also instead of using regular flour tortillas i always made my own flaxseed tortillas and you guys they turn out amazing on guru vip which is my private platform i gave them this full recipe and the full video from beginning to end so they know exactly how to make these all right so if you want the inside scoop with things like that make sure you click the links in the description box below and join guru vip where all of my exclusive content lives i also want you guys to know that really soon all of my silk press content will be removed from my youtube channel and it will only live within the guru elite platform so that's the only place that you will be i'm sorry not guru elite guru, guru one-on-one because there are three levels so on guru one-on-one -on -one, which is the um, 9.99 membership that is where all of my old silk press videos will live because to be honest with you guys it's not something that i'm doing anymore my channel is making a little bit of money from those videos but not really and all they do is actually hurt the channel because your girl's not going to be standing behind a chair silk pressing in no time soon you know so at this point I'm just cleaning up getting things situated um and if you guys notice like before I was posting like one to two to three to four videos a week sometimes even every day but whenever I'm having outbreaks with HS y'all like I simply cannot like I just simply cannot <laughs> but i still was getting work done though we still had to get work done because i do want y'all to know that all when you guys started following me or subscribe to my channel at first is when i was doing silk presses all the time i want y'all to know around the time that i stopped doing hair and even before that i used to have the most horrific outbreaks like the most horrific outbreaks because i didn't go vegan until shortly like a little bit before i started to um stop doing hair or whatever but i do want y'all to notice this though heat damage nothing all right my hair and the way it looks right now is all from me sleeping i sweat in my sleep something so terrible do you hear me and i don't sleep on my back i sleep on my stomach so the hair in the front is straight but the hair that's in the back baby that's the hair like my sometimes when i sleep i have sweat like all over my freaking back and all of that but went ahead blow dried my hair really good and then went ahead and wrapped everything up so i can get ready for this amazon live you know and as you notice like the armpits are out so it was super difficult but once again i'm used to it i'm used to using my hair to hide my underarms and the camouflage things right so at this point things are wrapping up with my underarms but now i'm breaking out on my face because a lot of times once again i have very active sweat glands you have sweat glands all over the body so whenever i'm having a, a hs outbreak like everything all over my entire body just acts like it has no freaking sense right so my face was breaking out like crazy so at this point unfortunately what i end up having to do is pull out the toxins but the sucky part about that when you pull the toxins out they come to the surface and when they come to the surface they look like bumps so you have funky skin and you just be looking crusty and dusty and that's what's been going on okay with your girl lord i love my husband because he loved me like he haven't been judging me or nothing you know like and this day in particular by this point in time i'm not even gonna lie i was crying like right before no right after i washed this part off like after this set and i rinsed it, rinsed it off i started crying because i'm like oh my freaking god like i've been going through this outbreak with hs for freaking um over a month after being in remission for years now my freaking face is breaking out not to mention i kind of need my face to be on amazon and i kind of need my face to record youtube videos i kind of need my face if i'm gonna do makeup reviews you know oh girl 
so yes this is how it ended up beginning to look once the toxins came out i had to go ahead and take some witch hazel i just got a little bit in my eye my bad but i took a little bit of witch hazel just to go ahead and get that you can't tell it just looks like i'm popping the bump now but there's actually like a thick layer of dead skin on top of that bump so i'm just uh, lightly it look i'm not adding any pressure it was ready to go i'm barely adding pressure with the q-tip right just lightly tapping it and through lightly tapping it it goes ahead and removes the last little bit of toxins so now at this point i'm just at a place where everything is drying out right like everything on my face is drying out my underarms are drying out everything's drying out but it's still it's still been all of the bullshit okay all of the bullshit in a century not just over the city but the world craig like yeah so um this is how things look um as it begins to heal up just a little bit um obviously it's still i'm still not out of the park because as you can see my skin is lifted right there so it is under the skin so at this point this would be like what you would consider a mild outbreak right some people this is their mild version of hydronitis superativa where it always lays under the skin never breaks skin to cause scarring right obviously that's not where i'm at but yeah <laughs> but you guys oh my goodness like this has just been like the craziest couple of months um and when i say crazy just talking about stuff with my body but it's it is what it is um that same day Day. and all every day that you guys are watching i was still able some of these days i was still able to pull myself together and get up out of bed to film something because uh i don't do this stuff for free you know what i'm saying your girl still gotta work i may work from home but baby <laughs> hmm. now that i am in a better place like with my body, with my hair, with my scalp, cause it's so freaking stressful to have outbreaks, especially when you ain't had it in a while. And when you already having an outbreak with something in your body, obviously a illness or ailment that you may already be dealing with or battling against within your body is gonna be triggered right so it was just all of these on top of each other at one time and it was so much so, but i'm it's over with and i made it through it like i always do because this is something i've been dealing with my whole life so i just want to say this real quick most of the comments you won't see because i delete them uh but i just want to say to everybody who has been showing me love and stuff through this journey through the changes that you've noticed in my hair you know what i mean like if you've noticed any thin spots and everything like i just want to say thank you to everybody who have who has like sent positive energy and good vibes but i will say this and yes i'm pointing with the nail that's broke because i'm about to fix it because i'm about to be cute to the people who have been like throwing jabs like oh i thought i thought you teach stuff about hair how you know stuff about hair you bald head and like kicking the player when they down oh i hope you have like monster diarrhea for like six months straight like just no matter what you eat even if you just eat a bowl of vegetables that don't even give you diarrhea i just hope you shitting for months i really do praise god so this is how my underarm is looking all healed up this part is just kind of sort of like scabbing over but this is it all healed up and i'll be able to shave a little bit today all right and this is the other arm and it's all healed up thank god like none of them came to a, a big enormous head like they used to. <laughs> I'm about to talk with my armpit up. Like none of them came to an enormous head like they used to. So uh, I'm so grateful for that. I was able to control that. But the one on my boobie is still here. Um, I'm gonna show y'all. Hold on. Hopefully I'm able to edit this right. 
Uh, this one that I'm about to show y'all, it actually went away and then came back. So, but this is what I mean by it's under my skin. Like, so it's not, this is what I mean by it's under my skin. Like, it's not um, turning white. Like, it's not coming to a head and turning white. And that's what I'm always praying for because if it does turn white and comes to a head, then it'll bust. And a lot of times it takes months, like weeks, for the scars to heal. So, um, I know you're probably watching like, oh my God, it's a up, oh my God. But if you are a person who has HS or who's been dealing with HS, a person who has HS, you know that this is like nothing. Um, I'm actually very grateful. It's gonna sound crazy because I know you're like, oh my God. But I'm actually grateful for this because there are people who have lesions like the size of their whole armpit that never heals up. So imagine having all of this being like open flesh that will not heal for like a year. So a lot of times you'll go, most people have to go have surgery and a doctor will end up having to seal up, like stitch up your skin because that's the only way that it'll heal because otherwise it'll just be open flesh. So these, these ones up here, like this area right here, and like this area over here, these areas right here, when I was pregnant with my children, oh my God, like, especially my daughter, cause I went, I went full term with her. So the hormones in my body was like, and all HS is, is a over endo, a overproduction of estrogen or hormones in the body. So if you are a person with HS, you'll really notice that like around period time, is when you have you like outbursts the worst. So just imagine like having a baby, the outbursts are gonna be super like effed up because your body's full of hormones because you're making another person, right? So when I was pregnant with my daughter, oh my God, like this whole section right here was just flesh, just raw, open flesh. So all of the videos that y'all start following me on, like, the silk presses i was at work with like gauze under my arm so i had a five minute grace period a because you need to be on time and b because i was literally bleeding and leaking blood all day every day all while i'm doing hair so yeah that's one of the another reason why i was like you know i'm done doing hair because it's, it takes so much out of me to do it and then to be dealing with this in my body too i could do something else that alleviates stress in my life because the more stress I have the more this th this stuff is triggered within my body so it just wasn't worth it it just wasn't but anywho um now I am about to now I'm about to uh braid my hair down because probably for like the next couple of months I'm just gonna be doing like protective styles but in the midst of having protective styles, I am gonna give give my hair some, give my hair, put microlink extensions. Oh my God, this nail. I am gonna put some microlink extensions in my hair. And the these microlinks are like actually like a kinkier texture. Like it'll match my hair when it's blown out like, like this. Cause I don't straighten my hair all the time, all right? So yeah, make sure you watch the video on the difference between heat training and heat damage. I'm not really, I'm, I'm like stage two of heat training. I'm not aggressively heat training my hair, but like I'm right in that middle stage or whatever. All right, so yeah. I'm gonna get this stuff braided up and I'll be back. So to see the full blowout and braid down and everything else that comes after <laughs> you guys make sure you go over to my private platform and join guru vip guru vip is where you will find all of my exclusive content you also get pdfs live broadcast live broadcast that literally go so deep into the education of hair that you'll feel like oh my god does sin even value herself you know what i'm saying do she even 
love herself all of this information she giving out for this low low price baby yes we're getting all of it done i'm giving you pdfs and so much more by the time i'm done with you once you sign up for guru vip guru elite or guru one-on-one listen people are gonna be like hey, did you go to cosmetology school in your spare time you're gonna be like no i'm a guru boo mm -hmm. join link in the description box below <laughs>